Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you a review of another eBay find. And it, this is what it is. It's actually a LED flashlight, but it's a USB flashlight. And I'll get to that in just a moment. But this is the box it comes in. Of course it comes from China. That's why the box is a little tore up, because they didn't put it in a box or anything. They just put it in a plastic envelope mailer. And, well, you know our mail system, and this is what happened to it. But on the sides of the box, they give you some directions. On the back, just some pictures. And on the other side, same type of directions. A little bit more about it, and that's it. Inside the box, you do get this little lanyard that you get to put on it. It's not big enough to put on my hands, but it might be big enough to throw on your keychain. Alright. This is the light itself. It is zoomable. This is the on and off switch plus the mode switch. There's what it looks like on the inside. Now this is supposed to be a Cree 5 LED. And of course the body is made out of an aluminum alloy. According to the box, there's only three modes, but there's actually four, and I'll get to that in just a moment. But this does contain a 600 milliamp hour battery. And to get to the way to charge it, there you go. Plug it into a USB port on your laptop, on a power bank, in your car charger, whatever, and you charge it up. And the lanyard right there and there is the hole that you would stick you know this part through to get it to work well I'm not gonna do it in this video I don't like those things anyway now on the initial charge it took eight hours to finally get this thing fully charged up okay after that it's about four to six hours to charge this up now, the, let's go through the modes. You get a high, low, strobe, and yes, and SOS. Uh, let me zoom that out. You just simply click to press it on. That's high. That's low. That's the strobe. And if you click it one more time, it just shuts off. Now, here's how you get to the SOS mode. Press and hold the button. And there you go. Now, even if it's on, like it is now, let's put it on low just for the heck of it. Press and hold that button. and it will go into the SOS mode. Now, uh, run time. I tested this on high and after about two hours, let me do that, let me make it a little bigger. After about two hours, it goes to about the low mode, maybe a little bit less brightness than that until the battery runs dead. Um, I got about a good, mm, I'd say five hours out of this before it uh, cut out completely and then I just charged it back up. And one of the good things I do like about this, like I said, is if you have one of these, a power bank, you can simply charge it up and if you notice there's a red light there and that turns blue or at least mine turned blue sometimes it actually just shut off completely when it was finally done charging so if it's red it's charging if it's either off like just like that that means it's done or if it turns blue then it's done charging as well 
All right, so uh, let's take you out to my Jeep to show you something else, and then we'll take you outside when it gets dark out and show you how bright it is in the dark. Okay, so if you are going to leave this in your vehicle, make sure you definitely have one of these chargers in your vehicle. So let me switch camera angles and show you that, yes, it does work this way as well. Okay, there you go. There's my U-Green car charger that I reviewed on the channel before. Please go back and check out that video. And here's the flashlight. Let's see if I can't get it in. Oops, I'm going to have to switch hands here. There we go. And plug it in. And if you can see, the red light is on. And yes, that means it's charging. So, you can leave this in your glove box or wherever else you'd like to leave it in your vehicle. And you don't have to worry about the battery going dead and buying a new one because if you have a car charger, all you got to do is just do what I'm showing you now and it'll charge up your battery. Okay, folks. Now, normally I know when I test a flashlight, it's dark out here in my backyard. But when I'm testing a flashlight, I normally try seeing if the beam will reach that smokestack there and then to the top of that pole. Sometimes even that tree way in the back. So hopefully this way in the bright sunlight it will give you a good fair distance or judge of distance and how far away that is. <laughs> 